All right, sounds on. So, um, let's see. Today's Thursday. It's uh, Richard's mom's birthday, Meg, my best friend Meg. So I'm gonna go see Richard, AKA Trip, um, and Meg tonight. I'm gonna have a pizza party. We're gonna carve pumpkins. So that's exciting. I try to pretend that I'm good at carving pumpkins, but I always mess it up. I pick the difficult one, and then when it comes down to the little details, I always cut the wrong piece, and then it it looks messed up. So, uh, how are my kids doing? They're good. My mom came and got them early today, so they had an early release. Uh, Magnus went to Nina's show and tell. They do a letter of the every alphabet like the letters in the alphabet every day is a different letter so today was d so they had to bring something from their home or something that they like that begins with the letter d so she said d was for dog and that meant that she had to bring magnus now keep in mind nina lives with a yorkie and a lab so those are two other dogs that she could have chosen but she chose her best friend magnus um, she was actually walking out the door this morning and started having a panic attack because they didn't have anything for show and tell. And my sister had to remind her that Magnus was her show and tell and my uh, mom was going to bring him there. Her gram was going to bring him to the school. So it all worked out. She brought Magnus in. Um, he was, he was good. They all came outside and saw him because he's weird with different types of floor and whatnot. So he was great. They got a cute picture of him. Um, so Magnus was good and then Walt and Noel had an early release today so my mom came and grabbed them and they got to lounge I'm sure Walter is a fan of jumping on my bed and tearing it up so I'm sure he destroyed my bed and then he lays right down on the bare sheets because why lay on the top blankets that are supposed to catch the dog hair when you can get down to the bottom and put your dirty dog stuff all over my bed sheets so which is fun and Walter's having a few little problems of his own as, as he's getting older he's developing a prostate problem so he is dripping blood every now and then so that's also fun when you have the dog hair and the dirt and then you add blood to the factor and it just you know all goes everywhere so let's see I know, Nina and Magnus, they are cute here. Paula looked great, how's she doing? I believe that they're doing well with Paula. She's adjusting very well to home life there with a little bit of structure, which is always good. So she's doing well with that. Penny went on an overnight with Colleen and was terrible. She was chewing everything. She chewed the walls, she chewed the remote, the phone, anything she could get her mouth on. She just, and I was just scrolling back on the chat feed and. I saw that there's pictures of her chewing the fence in the kennel, so I'm not surprised because <laughs> she just chews and chews. We're not sure if it's like a nervous thing. She just always has to have something in her mouth, the, whether it's the dog leash, the harness, um, always. So we're trying to break her from that. So yeah, my dogs are good. Steve's Friday, he's excited. He gets to go back to Maine. But yeah, so that's really it. I'm just, I am curious why we have this giant roll of purple yoga mat, except I don't want to ask Carleen because this is a table. Yes. Got it. I don't understand why we have the whole roll of this stuff though. We were sent the whole roll by someone and we're to give to the people who go home. And she's been trying to figure out how she's going to do that, and she's working on the wrap. And oh, that. like mats. I like, I prefer bath mats <laughs> over yoga mats. I don't know about you. Steve doesn't use mats at all. Steve says I'm sissifying. Yeah. Yep. Um, of the puppies in the kitchen, do I have a favorite? No, because I can't even, I couldn't even tell you any of their names. So, <laughs> It's a big pile of black puppies. It reminds me of the Muppies and the Chuppies when we had just Oscar in the middle of everything. Yeah, yeah, she just, she's just, it's like an obsessive compulsive chewing thing. I, it's not, I don't think she's chewing because she has to teeth. I, I think she's chewing for a different reason and we, we're, we're gonna try and figure it out, but she's just, 
any time calling, I'm sure Judy, she would tell you um, the story. If next time you see her at the gym, just say, how was your overnight with Penny? <laughs> and she'll just be like, oh my gosh. She had to t tether her to her hip and just constant. And then anytime Colleen had like a paper in her hand, next thing you know, the dog would take it out of her hand or a shoe, she'd come around the corner with a shoe or a water bottle or anything. Like just, it's, she's, she's different. <laughs> And hopefully we'll crack her case and figure it all out. So yeah, um, what else can I, how old is Walter? Walter's like, I wanna say he's like seven, 2011, I think 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, yeah. I think he just, I think he's gonna be seven in November. Maybe he's six, maybe he'll be eight. I don't know, I gotta figure it out. Walter, he was born in 2011, I think. I think it was November of 2011. What? Yeah, so 12, 13. So he's seven. Yeah. He'll be seven. He'll be seven, so yeah. he's six. How are you? Yeah, we were talking about this not too long ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of fun when you have a big dog with a pee pee problem, so stay tuned on that dilemma. But, um,. Yeah, I don't really have much else to say other than uh, all the dogs are good today. Bolt was better than he has been. He's kind of still, he's he's very bored. We're trying to find the right person for him. He needs to fly the coop. I know that'll upset Judy, but he will be a great service dog. Over the fireplace of Carleen's trail mat with rope. Oh. I don't see it. I'll have to check it out. I just use like a, um, a bath mat. So Tumblr gets her rearranging the bed from her grandpa. Yes, yes, constantly digging, constantly digging my, my bed. Uh, Walter was born November of 2011. Yep, that's what I said. Hi, Jody. They're all saying hello. So, yeah. Well, that's all she wrote for me. So, when are the spades and neuters planned? Uh, the kickoff for all that is tomorrow, I believe, in the morning. Uh, I guess I'm going to shut this mic off until they decide to do mail call. So, bye.
Okay. I bought a heating thing for under the under the mattress. Oh, under, right. You know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I have two things because they assume two people are in the whatever. Right. Okay. I plug okay. it in and I got two things. Right. And I got the book of directions. Okay. Now the two things I have are labeled with the, the, the P85. And this directions is made for eight different things. But not None of them are the ones that I have. Okay? Okay. So I figure, well, turn it on. It'll get hot. Sure. No. It doesn't. You got to turn it on preheat. Uh, then it gets hot. Then it gets hot. And then but, you adjust. Well, I don't know. I don't seem to be able to get, I got no on. The only time it gets hot is on preheat. And the directions don't match. We'll look it up afterwards. All right, on this thing. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'll help you. <laughs> You'll help me make the bed. That's I the can bed. Do that too. You make your bed, then you lie in it. That's no. right. That's what they say. I'll lie in it. Whatever. Okay. No wonder I get, I get upset. No wonder I get upset. Country store. Look at the pants. Those are cute. Oh, that, that's kind of fun. I like oh, those colors. Plants. Yeah. Well, we maybe better keep that one out. I've right. bought things from the country store before. I've not. I have. Here's National Pen. You can play with that one. Okay. And then we have, well, let's figure out what we got before we start here. Oh, a fancy pen. In a, in it's all yours. Sleeve. Oh, thanks. It probably even has our name on it. They usually do. Well, maybe. It sure does. Life lock. Uh huh. That's identity theft. Why? Well, welcome, Clint, to Life Lock. Oh, I don't need that. I got that. And I have this. Not smart. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> we'll get a copy of that. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. We and have well. the green envelope <laughs> from Margaret Zucker, Foster Bass. Oh, okay. That's right near here. Right over there on the ocean. You're going to look in the envelope, right? Yep. That would be very good. But I'm not very reliable at she this. She cares to send the very best to the homeowner. Okay. She wants a calendar. Okay. Calendar. And she has it on her check, so we don't need to have that. Perfect. And I've lost the bucket. Oh, here's the bucket. That's a pretty card, though. I like it. I better not do that. I better put that. Yeah. Okay. Next. Well, you know what else? I do. That's the only box we got, huh? Yeah. At the same time I bought the mattress underneath, uh -huh. I knew I was in trouble because I sometimes go to home with those. I bought a heating pad. <laughs> well, I, you know, sometimes you can't lie on those things for very long. Well, they actually recommend that you don't. That's why I'm, yeah. I'm surprised that they have the heating what? It's the heating mattress or whatever the well, heck they call it. I know. Yeah. I, this is the first one I think I've ever bought. I yeah. have a heating pad. Yeah. I think it's maybe a good thing I bought a heating pad besides because this <laughs> thing I don't think works very well. Okay, there is an empty envelope. Who is this from? I don't know. Jan. Uh -huh. And she mailed it. Uh oh, I tore it oh. off. Oh. I tore it off. It's on the floor. Okay. I felt. There it is. There it is. Here it is. It's not on that either. Yes, it is. Is it? 1022. 1022. Oh, okay. It never fails. Hospitality is to the art of making guests feel like they're at home when you wish they were. Nah. Okay. I have a thing over Wait, there. Wait, can you read that again? Yeah. The art of hospitality. hospitality is the art of making guests feel at home. Uh -huh. Oh, like they're... No, not, no, okay, let's start again. Hospitality is the art of making guests feel like... They are there at home when you wish they were. I got it. <laughs> I have over there a cross stitch thing uh -huh. done by one of my favorite aunts. I didn't have very many aunts, but at any rate. Um, your guest, you're welcome here, be at your ease. 
Get up when you feel like. Go to bed when you please. If you're happy to. Sh I'm happy to share with you such as we've got. The leeks and the roots, the soup and the pot. I like that. I like that. That's cute. She also like sent that. money for the fun fun, didn't she? A dollar. Yeah. yeah. Write a question containing double negative answer. Mike is ugly and he smells. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. What idiot called it the sun instead of space heater? <laughs> okay. Well, wow, that's a good that's one. That's a good yeah. one. That's a good one. I like that we one. We got that one. Okay. Right. Now we have Claudia Caudill. Titusville, Florida. Okay. Never heard of that place, did I? Uh, I've never heard of it. Well, it just can't be. Here we go. Have that one. If you if you tear the top when you've seen it, then you know you've seen it. Okay. Here we go. This is my first time writing to you. I started watching when the poos delivered in February and have been watching daily ever since. Then. Welcome. You want to make that, I guess, watching daily since then. Okay, we got that part. <laughs> what an incredible, incredible organization you have your support for veterans and people with mobility issues is heartwarming. To say the least, I'm hooked for life. Good. Watching. Hooked for life watching. Enclosed is my check for the calendar and also 10 bucks for my first chicken brick. Yay. Bless you, your employees and volunteers for your wonderful work. Sincerely, Claudia and Larry Cod Caudill. Okay, so she gets a chicken brick. Yep. That's this one. And the check is labeled calendar, and that's got her address on it. Okay. 3024. I can't read it too well. Pembroke Road. Okay, so this is all she needs to make the calendar. And then this goes in here for the chicken brick. In the chicken bricking department. That goes in there. And this goes in there. Okay. okay. And we have Harold and Wanda. Harold and Wanda. <laughs> I wonder if they watch. Oh, and Leslie, right? Huh? Don't oh, you? Leslie White. Leslie White. Oh, my word. How can I forget Leslie White? See, I remember because you do it with Harold and Wanda. <laughs> That's how <laughs> well, I, I have it right there on my computer. <laughs> well, at any rate. Okay. Okay, we did that. Now what do we do? Oh, you do the box. What are they eating th these days? What? What are they eating? Better Jerry's ice cream. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. I right. did that. I did that. Did that. Oh, this got to go on my bed. Cause, see, I make these in bed. Yes, I know. So here's some more of them that need to have yeah, labels put on them. Yeah, I'll have you did. You didn't bring back my basket. I did not, cause I, oh! I, was, I was still stuffing stuff. I was still filling orders. Oh, okay. I can bring it back. That one we need up there now. Okay. Well, <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do when I give away all that. I'll need another stool. <laughs> and this is from Joyce Houston. How on earth? R e i g e l s. Rigelsville. Pennsylvania. Okay, I'll go. You go it. along with that one. Sure. Why not? Okay. <laughs> it's as good as cast as any. Yeah, we got it. Oh, okay. What have we got here? What have we got here? I don't know. That's it was awful big. light, so. It was light. Yeah. So there are no pennies in there, probably. Oh, that's what I forgot to buy. Oh, how could you forget? I did. I totally forgot. Oh, good Lord. Sorry. Okay. Let's hold on to this. Check it closed. Oh, my. For 10 chicken ricks. Wow. Okay. We put that in there. Wait a minute. She said there was also a check for calendar. There's two of them. There you That's go. That's it. Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. The calendar, and she got the calendar. That's got her address on it, so I don't have to save that. Okay. You don't need this then. <coughs> well, you start again. Yep. Close my check, about $100, 10 chicken bricks, 25 for the calendar. 
It's a good calendar. It is. I just saw also it included a box of poo pickers and several dog toys. I love the Halloween lamb chops. I took the labels off the toys. Well, good for you. Yay! Right. So I can give them right away to the puppy. And Annie doesn't have to worry about it. See, we give them to Annie. Oh, I, did I, everybody see that? And then we'll throw that to Annie. Wow. Oh, here's a good one. Look at this one. Is that a cow? Oh, it probably is. I thought it was a hard looking name. <laughs> okay. Have you got nothing in there yet? She saved the labels for you, but she cut them off. Cut them off. Oh, it's a little koala. Did you want to throw it this time? Okay, I can throw it. Ready? She, she dropped that one. <laughs> it's all my fault. Okay, so we got them. The picture. <laughs> it was. There we go. You can have that now. Oh, we got more. Oh. oh we really, we probably shouldn't put them all out here. No, Come no, on, no. We go on them on the shelf or something. You want to catch them? Vanessa, it? here we go. That looked like a big old bowl. And then there's another big, biggy one. Oh, these are the lamb chops. Oh, oh look! <laughs> there we go. Ah. We got them. Oh, we got some poop pickers. Yep, she said. Marvelous. All right, here we go. Marvelous. Okay. We did all that. Thank you for using priority mail. I have never seen this before. Look at this. It's all on the inside the box. Huh, okay. Well, I guess we got thanked. Got it. Okay. Now. This was to be 10 chicken bricks. Mm -hmm. Okay, and right to, give them right to the puppy, so I did that. Yep. My husband and I would love to stop by Crazy Acres early in the month, but it wasn't impossible, as we're on a bus trip with a group of 44 Shriners. Wow. Oh, from Pennsylvania, crazy. near Reading. We visited Salem and Boston the first weekend in October, and we're amazed how much Salem celebrates Halloween in October. Mm -hmm. If one didn't wear a Halloween costume into town, you certainly stand out. <laughs> the group was able to t take a duck boat ride while in Boston, as well as a tour of the Boston Shriners Hospital for children. Hopefully one day we're visiting your section of Massachusetts, we can stop into Crazy Acres on a Sunday. Well, you don't have to be here on a Sunday. You can be here any day when you're coming in as a, as a, as a chicken bricker, camera person, you can come anytime. Sort of between five in the morning and seven at night. <laughs> okay, so we have 10 chicken bricks. That have to go in here. Yep. And then we're gonna do check. You're All gonna right. you're gonna do questions while I look for purple pajamas. Okay. This goes up on the shelf back there. And you have to leave some hanging out so so Donna knows they're not done. Yes. It's very very scientific. Okay. So. Yeah, here we go. Let's put that up somewhere over there. <laughs> Those are fun looking pajamas, I must say. Hey, Blue. Yes, I, I'm very sneaky. And did I bring socks? Well, I brought socks, but I didn't bring fun ones. Sorry. Socks? Why have we got a sock problem? She, no, Blue, you know, Blue Penguin. Yeah? She loves fun, crazy socks. I know. And I didn't bring any crazy ones this time. Hey, Jan. Good to see you. How long will I be staying? I will be back. I will be here until Monday late morning. The door. To when? Monday late the morning. The What's today? When? Thursday. Thursday. Oh, yeah. Okay. Over the weekend. So a long weekend. Yep. Okay. Whip it. Whip it real good. <laughs> we need page 49. Rigel's, Pennsylvania. My, my dad worked at Rigel Paper in Milford, New Jersey. I don't see him on 3049. Um, will I be starting a fire in the stove? Probably not because somebody hasn't put the pipe in. Oh. Pipe. <laughs> you bought pipe while I was here. Did I? Yes. Where'd oh. it go? It didn't oh. it didn't arrive while I was here. That's why it never got attached. So if we can if we can locate all the missing pieces, yes. There's some up up over the in the in the yellow house. Okay. I don't Carol find this on page forty. Oh, it's page thirty-six. Yeah, the jammies are on thirty-six. 
I didn't see that. Will Misha return to the farm to deliver, and if so, will the cam go back into the nursery? Of course. Still yes. Looking, I'm still looking for pajamas. Oh my gosh, look there at that. Go. Look at that panda. <laughs> I do That's like fake, that. fake, isn't it? No. No, I don't think that one's fake. Are you kidding me? No. It, I mean, he's just... They just took a split second and are doing it on repeat. That's all. Huh. So the t-shirt, this is the t-shirt, the other t-shirt that Linda K helped design or designed by herself, I don't know which, that you all can now purchase. Um, I believe it's in the doggy bag Good. online. Yeah. Okay. Can I add a little stipulation? What? I only ordered so many of each size because I didn't know if people were going to like them. So it's first come, first serve. First come, first serve. Okay. Yeah. Hear that, folks? Get your orders in quick. Because there's only so many of them. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm going to order those pajamas. It seems to me I ought to have a new pair of pajamas. They're cute. They really are. Are they flannel? Or are they cotton? I can't do flannel. Flat flannel. Top cotton. Okay. Pants or flannels. So I can't do. I can't do. You could do flannel. I can't. You know why I can do flannel? I have a rope. You're cold. Over. Well, that's true. <laughs> I also have a rope over my bed. What's that got to do with having flannel jammies? Because with your flannel, you stick to the sheets and you can't turn over. Oh. Uh, but I've got a rope. See, I can pull. Yeah. I See, like I it. can't do them because I just get too hot. Well, I don't get too hot. I don't ever get too hot. Hardly ever. <laughs> Okay, any more questions? Oh, let me go back to the top here. Let's see. There's some fun clothes here. We used to order paper from Rigel for graphic projects for our clients. Haven't heard the name in years. I'm not sure I want to go for the pajamas. All right, let's see what we lost. Okay, crazy FYI thingy, subject, hospitality. Did you know that a whole pineapple is a symbol of hospitality? I did know that. And in the south of the U.S., as you go along where the real old homes are, you will find within the ironworks, yard gazebos, outside brinks, etc., a few pineapples to let strangers know that, they are, that all are welcome and food, drink, and rest is there. Did the outside kennel light, light bulbs get changed? Yes. Oh, good. So, yeah, the ones at the end where kennel 10 is, um, Bud, I helped Bud change them. He did it, but I was there for him. <coughs> um, I came to Dog Fest for the first time. Now when I look at Poppy Hill, I want to reach out and pet and play with the Danes. I'm spoiled. <laughs> Does Carlene have any special tasks for you? For me. Well, I didn't know you were coming. <laughs> I surprised her. Well, we, uh, get the harness in on a cover. That would be a good one. Oh, we can do that. We're pro well, we, we're still building the, fra the frame for them to go on. In the oh, okay. How much for the yellow shirt? I think it's $20. Linda? Yellow shirt, is it 20 Yeah. $20 for the shirt, $5 shipping and handling. Um, Blue says, new jammies for the next whelping? Mmm, cool. <laughs> okay. I'll go back to looking for pajamas. Who will be overnight? Grace? Thank you, bud, and Joe, tonight. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Grace should be here shortly, actually. She would, I, somebody just took my scale away from me because she was weighing stuff. Yeah. Oh, so is she here already? Oh, they're waiting. Sarah and them? Okay. I can hear her out there. It's not her. No, it's not her. It's Sarah and Vanessa are out there. All right, let me check. Y'all are slacking in questions these days. They know the answers already. That's what the problem is. They're getting smarter. <laughs> 
What time is it? It's only 20 after. Yep. See, now those, now those, are, those are cotton. Those I can wear. And those are cute. I like those. Yep. Yeah. All right. Oh, wait. Here we go. Thanks, Bio. Um, Grace, will she survive the puppy attack like last time? I'm sure she will. <laughs> Plus, I know we're going to be weighing the pups because they've got shots or something coming up. Meds of some sort. Um, so they have to get weighed tonight. That's the way that goes. That goes that way. Um, and maybe, what's for dinner? We had to order out. Uh, I got a lot done this morning, though. Where'd I go? Yeah, where did you go? I went somewhere. Because you was, weren't here when I got it here. It was very important. I went somewhere. Pillows. Did you get pillows? pillows. I got pillows. That's what's in the back of my car. Oh, do pillows. they need to come in? They, they need to come in. They need to go in to dry her just for a few minutes. Just to, to fluff and fluff. Yeah. Okay. I bought her. They're $5 each for 20 pillows. This is for relatives arriving. Flan flannelette is 100% cotton? Did not know that. Thanks, Lee. Any word from TIAA? Isn't there a grant or something that you all I think all we did not get it. Okay. We got $2,000 from somebody. Okay. I don't think it was them. No, it was not them. Okay. This, this is such a pretty color, though. It is a pretty color. What? I don't know why anybody would be interested in the color of um, the but suppose I'd be pleased with it. Way wrangly, which will it be? Both. <laughs> what? Blue Penguin says, way wrangling, which will it be? And I said both. <laughs> um, what, what magazine are you looking through? Somebody wants to know. Country Store. The Country Store magazine. Ah, oh, there's a Granny Fork. I, don't, I have a Granny Fork, but those are nice. Is there a Granny Fork? I've never heard of a Granny oh, Fork. Oh, come on. No, seriously. It's three times and a wooden yeah. handle. That's the perfect one right there. The Granny Fork. Oh. They're wonderful. Oh, oh, for to hold the meat. For, uh, yeah, for yeah, all yeah. sorts of stuff. Yeah. Stick it in a potato, stuff like yeah. that, you know? Yeah, yeah, that, they, they have granny forks, okay? I hope you have one. You have to buy me one, but I'm just telling you, those are nice to have in a kitchen. Two, oh, the two grand was from Neutrina. The who? <laughs> the two grand. Neutrina. Neutrina, yes. Um, Carlene, no silk jammies on silk sheets. <laughs> I don't have silk sheets. I don't like silk. I don't no. like silk sheets or jammies. They're too hot. Now, years ago, when I was poor and I didn't have a car and I took public transportation and I had to stand out on the bus stop waiting for the bus in the middle of the winter, silk long johns oh. kept me very warm. That's, that's a different story. Yes. This outfit, I think, has things like silk long johns. I've had silk long johns. Hi, everybody. I will, Tori. Um, oh, there was something. Oh, hey, Lee, if you're still watching, I don't know. I haven't scrolled through, but if you if you want, you can share that video that I sent you. What video? Did you send me a video? No, I sent one to, to um, Lee of the oh. baby guinea hens. Oh. Because people can't see the guinea hens because the trailer's in the way. Come on. Come on. So, I took the video. Come on. Trailer's in the way? Yeah. It's blocking the view of the, of the house, of the guinea house. Come on. Can't win them all. No, no. Come on. Nope. Come on. I hope they're going outside to shit and come back in. I, I think so. What? I think they are. They're coming back in for overnight, aren't they? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Bentley. For overnight. Maybe when I heal completely. What? No, 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 no. She wants to know if the puppies you. are coming in. No, let me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to stick them in the. No, no, no. 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 No, no,
Penguins, uh, penguin hugs for everyone, including Sneaky Jody. <laughs> Watch out, you've got some right under your chair. Hi, sweetie, how are you? Uh huh, uh-huh. seatbelt oh, covers. Oh, uh huh. That's, that's another nice thing. There's another nice thing. What did I do wrong now? No, I don't know. Spam. Come on. You can play with that one. Good evening, SDP. May I help you? Hello. Hello? No, there's never anybody there. They just want to make sure you're home. So they come around the place. Right. I wish they'd come anyway. I dare you. Yeah, right. Craftier says, I wore silk undergarments when I traveled to the Soviet Union in January when I was in college. Very warm. Huh. Thank you, Linda. All right. Um, is there anything else? Huh. Well, I don't need anything, really. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't need anything. I no, like no, things, no. and I don't need anything. <laughs> uh, I don't really need anything. So you all just have to live with the pajamas I already have. So well, all right, no, per, per Carlene from the horse's mouth, no new jammies for whelping. So, all right, are we done? Any more yeah. questions? Yeah. All right, guys, we're going. Have a great evening, everybody.